how have you managed to shift the behavior on the inside? So if this whole challenge of change is there, they're seeing things in, as risks, how have you managed successfully over your career to help them see things differently, to help them see change as good and to rewrite that relationship with change? What are yeah. the, some, some of the you know, techniques yeah. or stories yeah. or, or elements around that, Greg? One that I found fairly consistently was when an organization tries to change too much too quickly, um, a transformation can crumble under its own weight. Um, and, um, you know, so one, you know, one thing that I would say as sort of a general guiding principle is this idea that, you know, change, you know, because it is a journey, transformation is a journey, um, should be undertaken one step at a time, which sounds obvious. Um, but the number of times I've worked in organizations or with organizations who feel such pressure uh, to catch up or get ahead, um, that they are willing to kind of you know, move fast and break things, but they're a legacy business with billions of dollars of revenue and tens of thousands of employees. And, and like, you know, it, it just, it's unsustainable. It's not feasible. It's not possible. in in most cases, um, communication is key. Um, in so many organizations, even if the leadership has a strong change vision, that, that vision doesn't get communicated through the organization. It doesn't get explained in a way um, that gets the organization, even you know, the people down to the reception desk on board with that change. What will it mean for me? How will my life be different or better? Um, but also a candid, how might my life be worse? Uh, which is something that a lot of organizations shy away from, right? 